just came across a video by Aaron Deering's little sodomite friend, Accountable KJV, that guy. He did a video where he was basically just acting really, really weird, spitting and all this other stuff, and um, basically saying, attacking me, but too cowardly to actually name me by name, because he says he doesn't want to give me the publicity or that kind of stuff. You know, shows what hypocrites this, these Denlingerite, you know, papists are, because they all about no name the names of heretics, name their names, but then they're too cowardly to name me. They're saying, oh, I don't want to name him, that kind of stuff. But he's blatantly attacking me and bolstering up what his Jesuit buddy Aaron Deering said. Uh, typical for these Denlingerite Jesuits and they behave like Jesuits to never actually deal with the points made in my videos or other videos made by former Denlingerites who have left that Jesuit cult to, to just say oh they're lost that kind of stuff they're Jesuits. This is one of the signs of a cult and Aaron Deering last night in his video proved that they are a cult because he basically said that if you break fellowship with Brian you're lost and I covered that in my other three videos his lies and false doctrine and, and false teaching and just pridefulness and cultism they think you're lost if you leave them just like any cult they, they display all the signs and characteristics, characteristics of a cult a persecution complex they have that uh, they think that anyone who leaves their cult and comes out and exposes them is them being persecuted and they'll quote scriptures about being persecuted like in Luke chapter 6 about being persecuted for saying the right things and they'll say see we must be right because look at all these videos made against us um, the reason why people make videos against you deadlinger rights is because you guys are arrogant prideful and you just label anyone as lost who, who tries to correct you or leave your group and you just don't take correction on anything and you're filled with a bunch of Denling Wright clones like Aaron Deering, Matthew Landau, Divisive Inerrantist, whatever whatever his name is Alexander Hartley, all these guys, just these Denling Wright clones who just mimic and emulate their Pope Brian Denlinger and refuse to be corrected on anything and label you as lost if you try to expose them they just think anyone's saved but them and you got JT does who is basically going to build a website to where he is basically going to charge you money for the website I mean I have a website and I don't charge money for the stuff I post on there I could go on and on about that but Accountable KJV made this video where he was basically acting like a sodomite the whole time and I'll be right back just gotta close my door sorry about that my cat walked in and I just had to close the door so I don't disturb my uh, family who are still asleep but the lies and blasphemy of accountable KJV in a video he referred to Jesus Christ as a skin suit it was in a video, and I have it saved, so don't bother trying to delete it, uh, Accountable KJV. I have the video saved, and I will be coming out with a video showing the blasphemy towards Jesus Christ by this sodomite um, crypto-Jesuit, Accountable KJV. And he basically, just like a typical Denlinger, right, will not actually go through the video and deal with the points made. They will quote scripture and say, see, we're being persecuted, because they can't handle the fact that they're being exposed. Accountable KJV, Alexander Harley, both of them are sodomites, definitely. And, you know, Accountable KJV, he may be, he may be married and have a girlfriend, but many sodomites, when it was unpopular to be a sodomite, would have girlfriends to hide the fact that they were sodomites. So him having a girlfriend does not disprove him being a sodomite. I know Aaron Deering tried to make it out like it does, but there was one time where I sent him an email and he responded to me and in his response email, which is his response email which is littered with heart emojis, kissing emojis, emojis with heart kissing faces and you know, is this the kind of way a middle-aged professing Christian would talk to a younger person? A younger a younger male too. And then there was one video where he referred to Aaron Deering as his, you know, sweetest tender brother or something like that. I mean, 
that sounds like a sodomite. Is he a sodomite? I suspect he could be. He definitely behaves like a sodomite, just like every video he opens it up with this little waving, you know, hi, you know, you know, just a little, little waving, you know, behaves very effeminate and just is all just, you know, and he just, it's ridiculous. And he labels you lost if you correct in your typical of these, these Jesuits, you know. I call them Jesuits, you know. Could they all be Jesuits? I don't know. Uh, Deering, I believe he is a Jesuit, and I believe the guy is not saved at all. He is, I've had questions about him for a long time, but he proved he's likely a Jesuit. Uh, Cannibal KJV, I don't think he could be a Jesuit, although he is behaving like one, but he definitely is acting like a sodomite, so there's that. With his sodomite waving, sodomite innuendos in the emails, my dear, sweetest, tender, loving brother, you know, that kind of stuff, and his just effeminate gestures and movement, you know, he could be a sodomite, I mean, I've said that before, but, yeah, so I'm now anathematized, I've had my salvation revoked by the Denlingerites, because I dared to speak against the holy Pope Brian Denlinger, you know, it's amazing how Catholic these guys behave, they're so anti-Catholic, yet they behave like Papists themselves. They, just like the Catholic Church, or my, my cat is goofing around in the background, the Catholic Church will anathematize you if you speak against the Pope. You're a heretic if you speak against the Pope. These Denlingerites do the exact same thing, like Accountable KJV, these other guys. If you speak against Brian Denlinger, you're a heretic now. When in reality, these guys are the heretics. And just like the Catholic Church, they cannot deal with them being exposed, they have to cry persecution, you know. Accountable KJV is a liar, he is a blasphemer, he is a sodomite, and he is just, you know, bolstering up what his Jesuit buddy Aaron Deering has said, lying about me, and just assuming anyone's lost but them. This is the fruit of this Brian Dillinger um, Lordship Salvation Papist cult. And they'll say, oh, we're not Lordship Salvation. Yes, they are. Okay, if you say that someone's lost because they leave your group, you're a papist. It's just that simple. And when you open your videos with this little, little um, what's, what's the uh, flamboyant waving and just this hi, you know? Yeah, that's that's really, really weird. Very, very effeminate. You know, obviously I'm repeating myself, but it's ridiculous. So, basically... I, I'm, not, I'm not the only person who's had his, who's had their salvation revoked because they spoke against Pope Ryan Denlinger. You know, I know I know uh, Alexander Hartley, another sodomite, spoke against, uh, or sorry, uh, called Tim Lost because Tim tried to correct Brian Denlinger because these Denlingerites are so arrogant and prideful they just don't take correction on anything. So Alexander Hartley, Aaron Deering's other sodomite friend, said that Tim was lost because Tim was speaking against a servant of God. I mean, Accountable KJV has the exact same mentality as these independent fundamental Baptists that Brian condemns. Don't speak against the man of God. Don't speak against him. They're no different. You know, they have the same... Like, what's my cat doing? Weird. Just goofing around. I'm watching him as I'm talking to the mic. But they're no different than the IFB. They have the same... just blind obedience to the man of God. Most of them are double-minded, duplicit. I kind of okay, JV, his blasphemy and duplicity and double-mindedness and hypocrisy and cultism are not godly. They're not of the Holy Spirit. And his sodomite um, tendencies are definitely not from the Holy Spirit. So, it's ridiculous. going to be coming out with a video showing the blasphemy and just mocking of Jesus Christ, referring to him as a skin suit, you know, talking about the Godhead. I mean, is that how you'd refer to your Lord and Savior as a skin suit? You know, shows the wickedness in this guy's heart. So, don't be deceived by this papist Jesuit Denlingerite cult, and don't be deceived by Aaron Deering's sodomite friend, Accountable KJV. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.